A very good afternoon. I have come to teach Standard 4 English Literature. It's a poem and the name of the poem is Once Upon a Time. Now, when we say once upon a time, it means a long time ago. A long time ago means the time has already completed. Once upon a time, in a house so big and wide, the family that lived there was so happy inside. So out here in this poem, the first stanza is saying that many, many, many years ago, there was a very big house. And in that house, the family that used to live, the family was always very happy. There was mummy and daddy, two little boys and girls. Every night they would gather in the living room, they would tw uh, twirl. So in that family, there was a mother, a father, two uh, sons and two daughters. And every uh, night after their studies and before the dinner, they used to gather in the living area. The living area or the living room is a particular, uh, a particular place in the house where we sit, we study, sometimes we watch TV, we have uh, parties in those type of rooms. And they used to gather in that room and they used to dance. They danced and sang sweet songs here. How close the family was, the love was great, they shared, you see, they showed, they cared. So out here they used to dance very happily, all the time. They used to dance and they used to sing and the whole family used to enjoy themselves. And this is how you know that a family loves each other when you see that all of them are together and they are enjoying themselves. Remember that your family can be the same way too. Just trust and love each other and share each other's thoughts because you need your family to communicate a lot. So out here the poet is telling us that even our family can be the same as this family that is being portrayed in the, in the poem. And the only way we, uh, we can make our family a very happy and a very loving family is when we start trusting in each other trusting and loving each other, we start thinking about uh, uh, the other family members, uh, getting, uh, taking care of their problems, seeing that they don't have any problems, because we need to communicate, we need to talk to one another in order to find out what is the problem and what's not the problem and how can we make our family happy. The only way we can do it is by communicating with each other. As you all, and as you all grow older, you will always know in times of trials and troubles to your family you can go. And as we become bigger, we become intelligent, we become smarter, we become matured, then we start realizing that in life, that any problem that we are facing, our family is the only thing that can help us. Our family is the only thing that can take us out of that particular problem. So we need to communicate, we need to love, we need to respect our family in order to understand, in order to make that family a loving and a caring and a happy family. So I do hope that you will have understood this chapter. I will be back with chapter number 2. And chapter number 2 is Good Neighbours. That's the name of the chapter, which is Good Neighbors. So I will be back with uh, chapter 2 of your English literature. I do hope that you will have understood the poem, which is Once Upon a Time. Uh, thank you for your time and have a lovely day.